others like Yayoi Inuma are just one of hundreds who believe their children are already suffering the effects. Ten-year-old Hannah has had severe joint pain in the arms and legs, deep rings in her eyes, and extreme tiredness to the point she sleeps for hours during the day. All symptoms of radiation sickness, safety for your safety experts. If it was just one thing, that would mean it was something else. But all the symptoms came at once. When we left Tokyo for a bit this summer, she got better right away. What cannot be argued is that the young... 30 seconds, Gina, so thank you very much. Okay. Your hundreds of expecting mothers are considering or have already chosen to leave. For Yayoi Inuma, a move is not at the moment financially possible. So for now, she keeps her daughter indoors and only buys food grown outside the affected areas. Hoping it will give her child as normal and as healthy a life as possible. From Al Jazeera, Tokyo. Chris Busby is scientific secretary in the European Committee on Radiation Risk. It sounds pretty frightening, doesn't it? If these Radiation levels are indeed higher than that of Chernobyl. What does it mean? Well, we know very well what happened after Chernobyl because uh, many of my colleagues in the European Committee on Radiation Risk have studied the area of Belarus and Ukraine contaminated by these same materials uh, extensively. So we know more or less what's going to happen there. And we know that one of the first symptoms that you will expect to find is increases in heart problems in children. And I was interested to see that you, you mentioned uh, uh, a little girl whose symptoms, the rings under the eyes and the joint pain and so on, are all quite symptomatic of heart illnesses. The, the, the cesium-137 in Tokyo is really um, quite significant. We have measured concentrations of cesium-137 and 134 in air filters in vehicles from Tokyo and from Chiba and from hundreds of kilometers away from, uh, from um, Fukushima, from the Fukushima site. And the cesium concentrates in heart muscle and destroys heart muscle. The heart of a child is really quite small. It's a, 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 a five-year-old child would have a heart about, weighing about 200 grams. And probably if they remain in this area inhaling this material for a year, about 25% of that heart muscle will be destroyed and they will start to suffer from heart attacks. So these children should be taken out quite, quite urgently and they should be checked in hospital for arrhythmias. Right, you know Uh, that's correct, that's correct. And in fact, in, in, in the areas around there, and in fact in Belarus, where, where there has been quite high level of contamination, you have uh, had increases in, in, in uh, right across the whole range of uh, spectra of, of ill health, from heart, heart disease through to strokes, through to cancer, of course. And what's happened there is that there's been a change in the demographic index. So in fact, more people are dying than there are uh, being born now because of the effects of radiation. It's this internal radiation that's the problem. The thing is that the Japanese authorities are applying an incorrect risk model, a, a model of the in International Commission on Radiological Protection. Uh, and this model only really is accurate for external radiation. For these internal substances, it just doesn't work. saying that people are actually just being paranoid, but clearly he's wrong. Knowing this, what should the government be doing now to clean this up? It, it's really not possible to clean it up properly. What they should be doing, though, very much, uh, very important, is they should be applying the risk model of the European Committee on Radiation Risk, which was developed entirely as a result of, of uh, considerations of these internal radionuclides. But they're not telling the people what the concentrations of these substances are, and they're omitting to tell them a whole range of radionuclides like plutonium and uranium and substances which don't dete aren't detected by Geiger counters. And because of this, we're setting up a foundation called the Christopher Busby Foundation for the Children of Fukushima, and we will be uh, allowing, we will be, be, be um, measuring ourselves and, and taking samples ourselves so that we can get 
proper and truthful results about the true concentrations of these substances in the area. This is a very serious okay. disaster. It certainly is. We look forward to seeing your results, Chris Busby. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.